the seeking game is really exhausting. I can certainly put my hand up and attest to that. I think, you know, I tried everything. <laughs> everything. And after many years of seeking, I realised that seeking itself is the obstacle, the biggest obstacle. And the truth is that however far, however far away you believe yourself to be from being enlightened is how far you are. In truth, there's no distance at all. There's no distance. And when you actually stop seeking and you allow yourself to be right here where you are, you start to see and recognize that the place you're looking for is the self or source itself or whatever name you wish to give to that um, truth, the limitless self, oneness, source, absolute awareness. And it really takes no effort at all to discover this. So all the energy I put behind chasing after this lofty ideal or idea of enlightenment um, was really getting me nowhere. And in many ways, I think what happens is it's a, it can be a distraction because it takes you away from actually being inside yourself and recognizing what is already here and also dealing with um, you know emotions that come up in this kind of movement uh, that can or, or thoughts that come up you know that can that can be seen by that which is prior to the story so if you are still seeking, if you're still running, chasing after this idea of enlightenment, then I would encourage you just to stop. You know, even if you just stop for a few days, just drop everything for a few days and just start noticing. Start noticing. And if you want a simple practice, one really effective, very simple practice is to just look up at the sky. Just look at the sky. Because by gazing at the sky, it takes you out of the mind because the sky, especially here in the Bahamas, it's just beautiful. You can see the full expanse of the sky. And because the sky is limitless, you know, you can't kind of wrap your mind around it. And so you naturally fall into the heart and into the silence of the self. The same is true with the moon. If you look at the moon in whatever phase it's in, it really stills the mind. And in fact, you know, any form in nature, if you stare at a tree uh, for a little while, it brings you back into the profound silence of the Supreme Self, which is your true nature. We have an abundance of palm trees here in the Bahamas. They're so beautiful. And I often just sit and watch them and listen to them because the, the palm fronds make a clicking sound when the wind blows through them. And it's not so much the sound that I listen to, even though the sound's really beautiful, 
It's the space between the sounds that is really, really beautiful, really hypnotic. And that silence is your true self. And it's that that you have been searching for. That state prior to your story, to the narrative of name, place, work all of those things. So just slow things down. Spend time in nature. Keep things simple. And recognize what is here already that requires no effort at all. It's completely effortless. It's effortless being or effortless awareness, aware of itself. And that is the truth of who you are. So I just wanted to share that this evening. As always, I hope all is well with you and that you are able to discover this state or place that is always available to you and is ever present and is already here. It doesn't require any seeking. It was never lost and therefore it does not need to be found. So sending you much love, have a wonderful evening, take it easy, be well, and all for now. Bye.